How to Complete Your Self-Appraisal From your employee portal, click Complete Self-Appraisal to get started. This will bring you to the Self-Appraisal Getting Started tab. As a reminder, you should use your self-appraisal to provide an honest reflection of your performance over the past year. Some of the things you might include are your achievements of the year, maybe any obstacles or challenges that you experienced, as well as some developmental goals that you have for the future. Remember, once you've completed your self-appraisal, it will be shared with your supervisor, so don't miss this chance to have an impact on this process in your performance evaluation. To begin, click Next at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. This will bring you to the Institutional Goal section. To complete this section, start by rating yourself as meets, exceeds, or does not meet expectations on each of the institutional goals. Remember, the definitions below are written at the meets expectations level. Once you've rated yourself in each of these areas, take the time to provide supporting evidence in the comments boxes below for any goals that you rated exceeding expectations. For example, if you rated yourself as exceeds expectations in the team-oriented institutional goal, then below, make a list of specific examples showing how you exceeded these expectations. This will greatly help your supervisor when it comes time for your annual appraisal. Providing evidence for goals where you rated yourself as meets expectations is encouraged but optional. Once you've completed this page, click Next at the bottom of the screen to go to the next section, which is your individual goals. Similar to the last section, you should rate yourself as meets, exceeds, or does not meet expectations for each of your individual goals. Again, provide examples in the comments boxes for those goals you exceeded. Once you've completed this page, click Next at the bottom of the screen to go to the next section, which is your talent development plan. For this section, simply review the talent development opportunities you took advantage of over the past cycle. We recommend commenting on your experiences. These comments could include what you gained or applied from the opportunity, maybe whether you would participate in it again, or maybe recommend it to another colleague. Once you've done this, click Next at the bottom of the screen to go to the final portion of the self-appraisal, which is evaluating your overall performance. Use this section to share comments regarding your overall performance this year. If you're not sure what to include, we recommend using the Talent Conversation Questionnaire to guide your commentary. You can find a link for this in the description of this section. The format and length that you use for this section is completely up to you. You can also attach documents to your appraisal by clicking on the Attachments tab. So let's say there's a report that you're really proud of creating this year. You can attach that report so it's easy for your supervisor to reference when completing your annual review. This part is optional. Once you've finished writing your overall performance comments, we recommend double-checking the rest of your self-appraisal by navigating through the tabs. Make sure that everything is the way that you want it. Then, when you're ready to submit, click Complete, which will give your supervisor access to your self-appraisal. And that's it! For more tutorials on Full Cycle Performance Online, click the links below. And don't forget to visit our website for additional tools and resources.